Hi guys and welcome back to our channel and we are once again in Mallorca and today in Montport thanks to Marcel Ramos, the lister of this beauty of a home. We're gonna be showing you what 14.9 million buys you in a prime location. Wow, let's talk firstly about this massive entry door, nicely wooden paneled, the stone cladding on each side. It is super impressive. And Patrick, how small do I look in very front small. of this door? <laughs> very small. You see in a very nice landscaped entry into the home. I would say, let's get cracking. I'm gonna enter detailed drone shots, let's go. We're going to be showing you what 14.9 million buys you in a prime location. Wait for the car. Prime location. We're going to be showing you what 14.9 million buys you in a prime location. Right. I truly hope you like the detailed drone shots. So give us a thumbs up if you did. This is the captivating entry into the home elevator that connects one, two, three floors that we have in this house, eight bedrooms, and yeah, a lot of space, super airy, two bedrooms on this level, three up, and two other ones. I'm gonna be showing you everything, so stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, this would be your formal living room area, a big window front that fully opens up as well to expose that view to Port Antrax which is just below, a stunning view to the port, the rolling mountains and everything that you can imagine. So no wonder that the former living room area and a big L-shaped couch here is facing that view because it's just amazing. Now, this would be your TV room, the informal room. You come, kick back, watch a movie, put on a fire, chill, perfect room. Right, Patrick? Yes, indeed, but uh, it's not a real fireplace. It's not a real fireplace, but those modern homes like this one, new built, tend to not come with natural fireplaces, which is a bit of a pity. But let's move on from that into the designer kitchen dining area. As you can see, we have double height ceiling, ceiling coves, a lot of illumination going on in this room as well. And yeah, everything is big in this home. Like the kitchen island with granite or granite. How do I say it? Uh, you asked me. Yeah, but uh, good morning, I, Patrick. <laughs> I thought you asked the audience. <laughs> I'm asking you, buddy. Granite. Granite countertops. Not granite, granite. Granite countertops on this beautiful black kitchen island. Miele induction and other appliances, as you can see, are to be found here. A second working top here with a sink and, of course, a lot of fridges, all from Miele fridge fridge. Freezer, freezer, perfect. We also have a dirty kitchen there. Let's give it a diesel shot. And yeah, that was it. This is the kitchen dining area. I like how the contrast between the black and the white just makes this whole kitchen seem more dynamic. Benchmade kitchen table seat, seating, <laughs> sitting. 10 people is to be found here. Another fireplace adjacent to the Informal living room, it's the same setup. Could also watch TV here. Picture window, natural light coming in. Perfect. What's next in this big house, Patrick? Let's go outside. Let's go outside, let's do this. Big windows, sliding doors that open up. And yeah, this would be your covered terrace area. Perfect positioned as your Napoleon barbecue. You know how it goes. Fry some burgers. Outdoor living is the best. And yeah, you've seen the panoramic views that we have from here are, it's just, I don't, I, I, I don't know what to say. Those views are simply so epic here in Mallorca. It's always such a huge pleasure to point them out. And yeah, epic. Further away from the epicness, we have another outdoor dining area here with a super solid bench made wooden table. And yeah, this one also sits 12 people. So this house is big giving you a lot of room for guests or family members. Another couch, chill out area. These covers also fully open and close. If you wanna enjoy a bit more shade or a bit more sun, you can do that. The formal living room area is just behind me and the informal one is just to the left. 
And that was it for this level when it comes to terraces. Um, maybe you want to mention that we can also reach the pool by just using the staircase there. Very well said. Thank you for pointing that out. This staircase leads down to the swimming pool, which this house has two of. We'll come to that at a later stage. Anything else I missed? No. I think we can go back inside now. Super, should I take these ones? Yes, you should. Nice. Perfect. Now I would say let's look at two bedrooms that we have on this level. Bedroom number one is to be found there. Let's have a look. Come on. You've seen it, spacious bedroom number one. There's also a guest toilet right here. Let's have a look. Voila, guest toilet in the same one sink vanity setup, same design, same fittings. We hardware. love our guest toilets, right, yeah. Dominic? Big time. Tell us why we always love the guest toilet so much. Ah, because it's the most useful thing to have, no? Yeah, you also have a nice little gallery here leading to the first bedroom. I left the door open just Covered for you a to bit understand by this it. Little dangly things. Dangly things, exactly. And you see the ceiling height is quite insane. But now let's look up to the ceiling that we have, which is quite epic. You've got the chandeliers dangling down from here. You do have picture windows here as well, bringing luminosity in. And I like how they went for this darkish wood paneling here. Pretty neat in comparison to the super clean lines of the house. Now that's the elevator I mentioned at the beginning that connects all three floors and this would be bedroom number two on this level. Let's have a look. Perfect, bedroom number two, check. Now let's take the lift up to the first floor and discover the main bedrooms that are found there. I ended up on the solarium. That took a little bit longer. Yes, there is a solarium. Let's point out where this door leads into. That's your two-car garage right over there. Let's have a quick look. Nice SL bands standing here. As a kid, I used to love this car and I actually had it as a little remote controlled car and it was able to open its roof. How cool was that? Yeah, that's a little story of my past. <laughs> also, that door that leads to the car port that I walked into the house from where you can additionally still park two to three cars. Now, this passageway here divides into three bedrooms, one, two, and three. I would say we start with this one, so let's go. All right, you've seen that this bedroom is bigger than the ones we have seen down below, and that also gives you more space for sliding windows and that panoramic view to port Antrax, which is right there in the rolling mountains, a breathtaking view outwards great bedroom let's continue bedroom number two on this level which is just over here let's have a look come on now this is right in the heart of the house giving you that central view outwards we also have hardwood flooring in the bedrooms and a terrace to enjoy your morning coffee from makeup set up here and sort of an open plan bathroom of a two sink vanity toilet be there there and your shower with nice natural stone backsplash there. The whole house has a very clean and kind of minimalistic look, which I like. It's calming. Console here for your clothes and also a little working desk. Perfect. Now, bedroom number th three. Let's go. <laughs> Last bedroom that we're going to be seeing on this floor. Let's see what it has. Now, bedroom number three and bedroom number one that we have seen on this level all have a separation of wall that also here, this one serves as a cupboard space on the other side. We have ceiling cove, LED lights, recessed lighting, TV setup, ensuite bathroom that you've seen in the detail shots, hardwood floor, and of course that amazing view outwards that you get to enjoy when you wake up in the morning. And I have to say, this is inspirational to wake up to this view. And now, ladies and gentlemen. And don't forget the aircon. Oh yeah, air conditioning is obviously also here and on it's, the floor. It's truly heating. a must in in, uh, you know. No, I don't know, tell me. <laughs> in Mallorca. It's getting hot. Yes. It's the beginning of June and it's already like, I don't know, 28 degrees and whew. Anyways, what up? You, you want to leave this room? I would say so, is there something else you want to do? Are you not missing something? What am I missing? 
See, so I did the dealer shots. I know that there's something hidden behind this door. Okay, that's interesting. You just passed twice. This door. The small one there. The little one. This is a little secret. A door behind the door. Oh, wow. Another garage. Yep. Wow. You didn't know that, did you? To be quite honest, I really did not. That's pretty cool that they also have two doors for noise cancellation, surely, and also safety. So basically, if you have a young kid with a fancy car, he can come up, park. And be more independent in this room. Boom. Super. If you turn, maybe now we get also the chance to show the cupboards that I spoke about before that you have here. So it's not just a divisional wall, but also a place to store your clothes. Super. Now let's leave this floor, take the elevator down to the basement, basement where we have a little surprise. So let's go. All right, all right, all right. Three floors. Thanks God there's an elevator for those who are lazy like me today. So I'm going to be taking it. So see you in the basement soon. Ta -da! Here I am. Let me show you something. This is just a storage room here. It would be another storage room here. Oh, there's a secret door. Should I quickly have a look? No. no? There's really nothing. You looked? Service room? All right. I was wondering, secret doors, maybe there's another thing that I didn't know about. Let's have a look at this together. Come on. All right. You have an indoor swimming pool right here. Nicely illuminated, you have track lighting, and of course the possibility to swim here in winter because I'm sorry to say, Mallorca does get pretty cold in the winter time. It's not gonna be snowing, but definitely comes handy to have a swimming pool to swim in in the winter. Patrick? Yep, let's show the swimming pool outside. Let's do that, come on. Now there's a nice continuation of the same stone laid out here as inside of the house. But hey, let's talk about the infinity edge swimming pool that we have here. Super welcoming, especially when it gets so warm. Now this decked area is where you would come and chill right under the parasol, glass balustrades, so that even when you're lying down, you get that panoramic view to the port. It's just a superb location. And that's why this location, by the way, is one of the most expensive ones in Mallorca because of the views it gives you. Not just views on mountains and forests, but also into like a little bay, a harbor, little city. Yeah, the, the port. Little, I mean, not city, a little village. Really neat. And I'm sure at night it all lights up very nicely and gives you something to look at. Certainly. Because I... it's like if you have nature, just nature in front of you, it's like the open sea. It doesn't really give you much at night as it just disappears. But if you have little tingling lights in the far distance, little town, ships coming in and out, it's just super dreamy. It's more dramatic, yeah. I would say. Romantic. Yeah. Then you, you could bring here a little table. Set up a vino. Yeah. Or maybe a shisha, bring some your, cigars. Bring your loved ones. Yeah. I'm picturing it right now. Are you guys picturing it? If you are, like and subscribe. No, now, no, guys, no. buy this place. <laughs> buy, yeah, buy this place. Exactly. Contact details of Marcel Ramos are in the description box if you're interested in this home or any other ones. We are still going to be showing many more, so stay tuned. Now, ladies so, and gentlemen, Patrick? Yes. You wanted to say so? He lifted Patrick, was like, <laughs> whatever. I thought you just wanted to finish the. No, the, I wanted to say now it's the deck, time the to go to terrace. the rooftop terrace. Exactly. That's the one. So see you there. Come on. Oh. Patrick, you love rooftop terraces. Give us your pitch why you do. Best use of space, amazing views. Two points. And usually if the, if the house is set quite high, you have a, you know, 180. Pretty Or panoramic. even if you're higher, maybe even once around. Yeah. So that's very, very cool. This one also has a semi kitchen set up here with a sink. Wine yeah, cooler. More like a barbecue kind of barbecue setup, no? Yeah. Bring your barbecue up here. Solid. Little freezer. I like it. And cold beers. I like it, Picasso. It's nice. We but like our beers, right, Dominic? We, oh, we certainly do. Let's twist it and just end our property tour here with this view because essentially location, 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 that's what drives the price. And to have a location where you have that sort of visibility is pretty amazing so thanks for tuning in guys 
Big thanks to Marcel Ramos for allowing us to tour his listing and stay tuned, connected, subscribe, like and share. Last words to Patrick. Peace and love and out we are.